uh, we have seen eh, um, just now minimum number of directors for private company and public company. Now under section 194, subsection 4, they talks about ordinarily reside. What does it mean by residence? Eh? Uh, the term resident has not been defined in the company side 2016. But if you learn uh, taxation, uh, the, uh, the Income Tax Act 1967 defined the term residence. But that particular residence uh, is for the purpose of income tax calculation. But for our purpose, there's no definition. So we have to look at uh, decided cases. So the first decided cases we're going to look at is Fong Po Hyuk and the Central Construction Company whereby the court held that residence means resident in one place with some degree of continuity. But the court did not actually explain how long is the continuation of the residency. Now, in MY and Controller General, uh, and uh, Controller, uh, MY and Controller General of Inner Revenue, the court held that to be a resident in a place, an individual must first reside in the place, and in the abs in the case of absence, such absence are temporary and reasonable. This is also not defined. I suppose it has to be by case basis. If the issue of residency arises, only then they're going to they're going to decide. Now, what is the qualification of directors? Section 198, subsection 1 says, A person shall not hold office as a director of a company, whether directly or indirectly be concerned with or take part in the management of the company if that person is an undischarged bankrupt. Okay? Although he has paid all his fees dues, but if he is still not discharged by the court, he is still considered as an undischarged bankrupt. So how do you how do you going to discharge? How are you going to discharge your bankruptcy? You have to go to the court and discharge it. Okay, and next one. Uh, if he is convicted of any offence relating to promotion, formation or management of a corporation, and then if he has been convicted of an offence involving bribery, fraud or dishonesty, then convicted of any offence under section 213, 217, uh, 218, okay, 213, 217, 218, uh, 228, 539. Now for two one, uh, let me just check. Eh? Um, two one three is on, uh, on the breach of uh, on the duties, okay, and then two one seven is on the responsibility of a nominee director. Two one eight is on a prohibition against improper use of property. Uh, position we're going to look into this in uh, under the topic of uh, duties of directors. 228 is on the transaction with directors, substantial shareholders or connecting person. And then 539, eh? when we look at 539. Okay, 539, what is 539? Uh, let's see. Okay, section 539 talks about Liability where proper accounts are not kept. These are all uh, in relation to director's uh, duties. Eh? And then uh, he is also not, uh, he also cannot hold office as a director if he has been disqualified by the court under section 199. So section 199 is um, power of the court to disqualify a person from acting as a director. So the above disqualification referred to in paragraph A, B, C and D shall be applicable to circumstances in or outside Malaysia. So even if he has been um, convicted or punished in overseas, uh, it is also applicable here meaning to say that he cannot be a director in uh, companies in Malaysia. Okay. Section 19A, subsection 4 of the Companies Act says that a person has been disqualified due to undischarged bankruptcy, he may be appointed uh, may be appointed or hold office as director, okay, but he must have leave of the official receiver or the court. And then provided that 14 days notice of intention to apply for leave has been served on the official receiver and the official receiver is heard 
uh, is heard on the application. So, meaning to say, uh, there was notice being given, uh, leave must be given, then only he can be appointed as a director. Okay. Then, uh, for persons who has been disqualified due to conviction involving bribery, fraud, dishonesty, offences under Section 213, 217, 218, 228 and 539, or even disqualified by the court under Section 199, may be reappointed or hold office as a director with leave of the court. However, Section 198, Subsection 6 eh, says that those persons shall not be required to obtain a leave from the court after the expiry of five years calculated from the date he is convicted, okay, or if he is sentenced to imprisonment from the date of his release from prison, okay. Uh, under Section 199 uh, of the uh, Company Act 2016, uh, persons disqualified from acting as a director Okay, um, registrar may apply to the court for an order to disqualify any person. Okay, these are the circumstances eh, where the registrar can apply. Eh? And then, uh, when they can apply this, if within the last five years, the person has been a director of two or more companies, which went into liquidation resulting from the company being insolvent, due to his conduct as a director, okay, which contribute wholly or partly to the liquidation or due to his contravention uh, of the duties of a director or due to his habitual contra contravention of this act. Eh? So basically, the registrar can apply uh, to disqualify a director. Uh, for these topics under the directors on the qualification, appointment and vacation, for those of you who have the book, uh, please refer to the method in the uh, to the arrangement eh, in this uh, slide which I'll be giving you later okay uh, when you read that book uh, just follow this guideline eh, as how I rearrange it back okay uh, now for for these directors they can also vacate their uh, position as a directors so this is what we call vacate uh, vacation of office eh? now section 208 subsection 1 of the company said 2000 16 provides the holding of a director of a company shall be vacated if the person holding that office resign by giving notice, okay, or retired in accordance with the act or constitution but not reelected, not reelected, or removed from the office in accordance with the act or constitution, or become disqualified from being a director under section 198 or section 199, okay. And then become unsound mind or a person whose, uh, or a person whose person or estate is liable to be dealt in any way under the mental health, or the director dies, or the director vacates his office in accordance with the constitution of the company. These are the circumstances where the office of director will be vacated. Okay, now we look uh, at section 196, section uh, 3, eh? Director of a company shall not resign or vacate uh, his office if by the resignation um, we reduce the minimum number required. We have seen this before. This is one of the part. Eh? Uh, unless somebody uh, replace him. Okay. Although he can resign but he cannot if the number reduce, uh, we reduce below the minimum requirement unless a person is appointed in his in his place yeah? okay and then uh, for retirement this is in accordance with section 205 or with the company constitution or the terms of appointment regarding retirement so they can retire according to to this method yeah? now section 205 subsection 2 says for private company okay normally they pass a written resolution to determine the retirement of a director okay and then for public company under section 205 subsection 3, the director shall retire as follows. Now at the first annual uh, AGM, all directors shall retire at the conclusion of the meeting. This is the first time they had their AGM. Remember when we incorporate a company, okay, we're going to name those directors and all those directors will retire during the first AGM. 
and they can be re-elected. So at the AGM in subsequent year, one third of the directors for the time being, or if the number is not three or multiple of three, then the number nearest to one third share retire from the office at the conclusion of the meeting. So for this first one, where during the first AGM or retire, probably they can be re-elected or re-elect someone or elect someone else. And secondly, they can retire at every subsequent uh, year where they'll take turn to retire. Why do they do this? So that um, there will be a proper governance. And then uh, who knows that this director will bring um, uh, their own uh, methods or their own uh, projection on how to develop the company. So, but this is only for public company. Okay. Um, and then under section 205 subsection 2 again, um, the directors to retire in every year are the directors who have been the longest in the office since the director's last election. But as between persons who become directors on the same day, the director to retire shall be determined by lot. Okay, they'll, de they'll decide eh? unless they otherwise agree among themselves that who will be retired first. And a retiring director shall be eligible for re-election uh, as if it's not disqualified under Companies Act 2016. Okay.